The purpose of this tutorial is to show how to perform a linear regression manually. Now, I'm not going to do every calculation by hand, every single multiplication or addition or whatever. I'm going to use a calculator for that. But I'm not using a calculator or some computer program like Excel, for example, to find the slope and the y-intercept of this linear regression line. So for the line y equals mx plus b, this is the formula we use to find the slope value, and this is the formula we use to find the y-intercept of the line. So basically, if you find those two values, you have the, the line of best fits equation. And of course, we need some data to start with here. So I have, this is my xy table, and I'm going to show you a graph of it. So here's our, uh, the first point is 0, 3, so 0, 3 would be this point. 3, 5, so if we go over 3 and up 5, that would be the 3, 5 point. There's six points all together. 12, 19 would be the last one, so we go over to 12, up to 19, that's the 12, 19 point. And here's my line of best fit, and it certainly looks fairly linear. Uh, the line definitely goes to that point. It's pretty close to that point. And there's a couple a, a little bit below, a couple a little bit above, so a linear model is pretty appropriate. So let's get rid of the graph. Now, we, you know, we need all these sums, and so these are the x values. So I'm going to add 0, 3, 6, 8, 11, and 12. And down here, I'll put what's called the sum of the x values. So if I add all those up, I'll get 40. So this means that that's the Greek letter sigma, and it stands for the sum of, in this case, all the x's. So next, I'm going to sum all the y's. I'm going to add 3, 5, 11, 10, uh, 17, and 19. And so the sum of all the y's is 65. Now this xy means we multiply x by y. I uh, need that in the formula right here. So 0 times 3 would be 0. 3 times 5 is 15. 6 times 10 is 60. Down to the bottom, 12 times 19 is 228. And so we add all those up. And so this is the sum of the xy products. It's 578. Now, this says we square all the x's. So 0 squared is 0, 3 squared is 9, 6 squared would be 36, 8 squared or 8 times 8 is 64, 11 times 11 or 11 squared is 121, and 12 squared is 144. And so we add all those up. And so that's the sum of all the x squareds, 374. Now this last column, we actually don't need it for either of these formulas. I'm going to show you how to do the coefficient of determination as well. So if you're, if you're only doing the linear regression line, you wouldn't need this last column. Uh, so uh, the sum of all the y squares. So 3 squared is 9, 5 squared is 25, 10 squared is 100, down to 19 squared is 361. And so we add all those up. And so the sum of all the y squareds is 905. So here's our formula to find to calculate the slope. It's a bit of a big formula. Now what n means here is n is the number of points. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 points all together. Remember on the graph there were 6 points. So let's fill in all the values. So n is 6. The sum of all the xy products, now that's right over here. The sum of all the xy products is 578. So that's why this is 6 times 578 minus the sum of x times the sum of y. So the sum of all the x's is 40, and the sum of all the y's is 65. So that's why those two numbers are subtracted, are multiplied and subtracted on the end. In the denominator, it's n times the sum of the x squareds. Now notice that these kind of look similar, but they are not the same. This means you square all the x's first and then sum them. This means you add all the x's, or sum all the x's, and then square it. Okay, so look similar, but not the same. So n is 6, the sum of all the x squareds, these are all the x squareds, is 374. And then this is the sum of all the x's, the 40, that gets squared on the end here. Now I did the calculation uh, just to show you that this is correct. So in the uh, numerator here, 6 times the 578 minus the product of 40 and 65, and then close my bracket, divided by uh, 6 times the 374 minus the 40 squared, and works out to 1.3478, etc. 
So there's my slope value. That's the coefficient of x in the equation. Next, we need the y-intercept. So here's the y-intercept formula. So let's uh, sub the values in. So the first thing is the sum of all the y's. So these are the y's. The sum of all the y's is 65 over 6, because n is 6. There's 6 points. Minus m, 1.3478, times the sum of all the x's, which is the 40 here, over n is 6 again. And I didn't show this calculation, so maybe I'll bring my calculator over just to show that this, verify that this is correct. So 65 divided by 6 minus 1.3478 times 40 divided by 6. And there's my 1.848 number. So that's the y-intercept of the line. Now I rounded both of them to two decimal places. So the linear regression line will be uh, y equals 1.35x plus 1.85. Again, I round to two decimal places. So that's the um, reg regression line equation. Now, I just wanted to, for the purpose of the video, to, to demonstrate that this is correct. So I'm doing this a different way. I'm actually using my graphing calculator. So here's the same 0, 3, 3, 5, 6, 10, down to 12, 19 ordered pairs as here. Same, same data. And so I performed a linear regression. And in the uh, Texas Instruments, Instruments TI-83 family of calculators, they call the slope A. So if you see that, it also means the slope. Okay, so in most mathematical textbooks, you'll see y equals mx plus b, but the calculator actually uses a to represent the slope. So notice my a value is 1.34782, etc. Okay, same thing I got here. And b is 1.8478, so to three dozen places, 848. Okay, so same thing I got right here. And so it also note, it also gives the r squared and r value. So I, I am going to show how to find those as well. And so if you thought this formula was big, here's an even bigger one. So this is the coefficient determination formula. And so let's fill in the values. Notice that the whole uh, numerator is squared. So we have to go n times the sum of the xy's. So that would be 6. Uh, sum of the xy's is this same 578 we used uh, right here. So 578 multiplied by 6 minus... Uh, the product of the sum of the x's and the sums of the y's. So that's the first two sums from here. Sums of the x's is 40, sum of the y's is 65. And that's all squared. And then there's two products in the denominator. n times the sum of the x squared. So the sum of the x squareds, remember these are the x squareds, is 374. So 6 times 374 minus the sum of the x's, uh, the 40 again here, squared. And then we do the same thing with the y's. So it's n, the 6, times the sum of the y squareds is this uh, 905, minus the sum of the y's squared, which is the 65 we're squaring. So uh, here's my image from my graph and calculator. And so if you want to do this in one calculation, make sure that you use the appropriate amount of brackets here. So in the, in the numerator, I only need one set of brackets. I didn't bother to put these brackets right here because I can just use a multiplication symbol between here and here. So I went bracket the 6 times 578 minus 40 times 65. See, that bracket would be this bracket here, a closed bracket and square. So that means the whole numerator gets squared. Divided by, and I need a, a double pair of brackets for the denominator because I have a product in the denominator. So this bracket starts the denominator. And then this bracket right here is actually the square brackets here. So 6 times the 374 minus 40 squared. I don't really need in my calculator to put those brackets around the 40 because I can just go 40 squared. So I close that bracket and then start the other square one. I can't use actually show square brackets to the calculator. So that is the same bracket as this one right here. 6 times 905, 905 minus 65 squared. So this closes this bracket. And then this actually closes the uh, brackets around the whole denominator. It actually, in the in the virtu in the TI family of calculators, if you if you drop the last bracket, it still will work. It'll still give you the same value, but just a good mathematical form, I left it in. So you get 0 0.97088. So r squared is 0 0.97088, etc. And then to get the uh, r value, you take the square root of that.
so 0.9853. Uh, pretty close to one, so we would, and we should have expected to be pretty close to one because it was a pretty good fit. Uh, that line that was on the graph was close to all the points, uh, went through one, very close to another, and then quite close to the other four that were just above or just below. So that's how to do uh, a linear regression using the least squareds methods formulas. And that's the end of the tutorial.